Welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. Today I am going to review the 33 year old Adelphi Milton Duff cast number 7450 with a 52.6 ABV. So this was released actually um, I believe it was a couple of years ago um, but because of the price of these you do still get some in the secondary market or sometimes the main markets um, because these aren't the most common bottlings and the price of them a lot of people when it comes to independent bottles they don't quite know what independent bottles are uh, bottler is and so they'll go and buy a 30 year old Glenfiddich and pay 900 to a thousand dollars for it but they see a 33 year old Milton Duff by Adelphi and they go what is that I don't recognize that from my usual marketing so then they won't buy that one so I find the independent bottlings are usually done the rabbit hole kind of stuff for whiskey drinkers have just taken it to that next stage of appreciation and some of you might disagree with that but I'm gonna stand by it um, and if you wanna um, debate that with me hey please comment below I'd love to know your thoughts on you know why I disagree but I believe that when you reach a certain point of curiosity it will no doubt inevitably gravitate towards independently bottled all right Milton Duff is a space high distillery it's actually a big distillery it produces a lot of liquor um, I think in the space side distillery or in the um, uh, Pinot Ricard portfolio it is second to the highest producer which is Glenlivet so Milton Duff nothing overtly unusual with it um, they have a few bottlings of their own and they're bottled by a lot of different independent bottlers and they've been around for a long time and all of that jazz but this particular one is 33 years old and 33 years old at 52 percent I'd say it's a relatively active barrel so let's get nosing, let's get tasting. Oh. Wow, that is a soft and floral whiskey. Oh, just in case you didn't see my last um, few episodes of this glass review, from now on, when I'm doing something quite premium and a certain tier of whiskey, I will always use this glass from now on. I'm not just gonna. I'm not gonna have the water thing anymore um, if I can help it, because I want to focus on the spirit originally out of the bottle in one glass. Okay. So. Oh wow! I'm getting a woody red cedar, vanillin, jasmine. Oh, honeysuckle, honey, sweetness on the nose. I'm getting white sugar syrup, brown sugar syrup. Oh, caramels. Oh, wow. The nose is absolutely beautiful. Oh, that is glorious. That is glorious. Oh, I can't stop nosing it. I love these glasses for nosing. It's just phenomenal. The jasmine, is, the floral nature of it is so pronounced. I'm getting some green apple as well. I'm getting green apple, red delicious apple, you know the Granny Smith and the red delicious apple, two types of apple. And the apple flavor is so pronounced that it almost smells like apple flavoring. I'm getting a slight spice in there, I'd say nutmeg and cinnamon, more cinnamon. Slight minerality, very very slight minerality. A small hint, a small hint of black pepper. Slight hint of menthol. And dried wood some dried wood like you would find in a humidor red cedar dried wood oh absolutely stunning nose and this glass just gives it that oomph let's get tasting mm. for a 33 year old not too tannic I'm getting um, it's quite a sweet whiskey, relatively soft, perfect ABV, as the Barrel Angels have intended. Mm. 
apple becomes on the palate becomes a um, a green pear a slightly underripe green pear you know when it's still crunchy but sweet and it's not so sickly sweet and ripe smelling you know like I'm just imagining having a piece of blue cheese with um, pear that's what I'm getting that blue uh, that pear mm. I'm getting a floral nature of it and I'm getting this not smoky but it does remind me of um, going to a a temple in Asia where you have that incense burning in the background slightly burnt caramelized sugar it is quite buttery mmm coating in the mouth is quite nice it really is quite nice the flavor is not overwhelming at all mm. but man I can't escape that floral notes the floral flavors the menthol is coming through a little bit more but the the floral nature of it it's like a, a bouquet it's like a floral bouquet in the mouth it's like chewing on roses and rose water and and um, jasmine and honeysuckle there is a slight herbal note to it that's a bit of thyme a very very small pinch of licorice tiny tiny amount of cloves but it's a very it's a generally quite a sweet whiskey to have the finish is long it envelops the mouth it is quite involved um, it's not overly tannic um, if you have the budget for it um, but your palate is not too robust this is a perfect whiskey for you this kind of whiskey because it is intense in flavor it is intense in complexity I mean it's not the most complex whiskey I've ever had but it is intense in complexity but it's not going to wallop you in the face and make you slap yourself um, so it's not like that at all it is a very pleasurable drink um, very pleasurable drink this can be a session whiskey easy easy but delicious extremely delicious whiskey Look, this is the first Milton Duff of the Delphi I've ever had. I've had Dunvegan and another couple. I've forgotten which one now. Um, they're younger. Um, they're less premium than that. But um, Milton Duff has been hit and miss for me. Um, some of them, they're really good on the nose, but the palate doesn't follow through. Maybe the mid palate and the start of the palate is really good, and then it just stops. No complexity in the finish. This one here ticks the boxes. That could be the age and the barrel selection. You know, the age has given it more punch and more flavor. Uh, so that could be that could be why it's uh, um, why that's the case because the other ones I've had has been you know nine, ten, eleven years plus younger than this one here. Um, you know, I'm not always an age hound. Okay, it's not about the age, but um, age does play a big part in it. And I think this one has been plucked from the tree of goodness, perfect timing. Until next time, make sure you eat, smoke, drink. And if you have any thoughts on Milton Duff, or if you've tried this one, please let me know. And let me know your thoughts. Did you like it? Did you not? I can see why some people would find that this might be a little bit boring for them, quite unquote boring, because there's nothing about it that goes, whoa, what am I drinking? Um, but I find that um, Adelphi doesn't always bottle the left field screwed up flavor profiles out there like Signatory does, which I love, by the way. It's not a criticism. It's just a different style and palette. I think Adelphi tends to be a bit more, um, you know, I mean, how do you explain it? Uh, I'd say more Piers Brosnan James Bond than Daniel Craig James Bond. That's what I think. Signature is definitely Daniel Craig James Bond. And I think that's a difference. Um, eat, smoke, drink. Cheers.